the way the uh, air enters the cylinder, the location of the input and the location of the output and the way the uh, cross tubing runs here, just for a little variety. It's an A-frame engine, crank and flywheel overhead. Now we're really slowed down to, I suppose, about 40 RPM. It's a lead flywheel, which has quite a bit of momentum, stores quite a bit of energy, and allows it to run pretty slow. It's a double acting engine. That means that the piston gets pushed one way by the air pressure, the valving change it and changes it, and the pressure pushes it back up. So it's back and forth under pressure both ways. That's what double acting means as opposed to single acting. There are dead spots on an engine like this. For instance, if I stop it right there, it's not going to start again until we spin a little bit. Same thing on the bottom of the stroke. Now, if you've got a two-cylinder engine, you can uh, set it up such that there will be no dead spots and it is self-starting. This is Tubal Kane signing off again. I hope you liked this little engine.